Windy, windy days like we have had more of this year than any year I can ever remember in my entire life and I've lived a long time. <laughs> What's a great bait to throw on windy days? What size? What bait? Good morning guys and girls, June 16th. We're going to be reading from our Catch a Better Life book. If you are not subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel, subscribe to that channel right now. If you're watching this on TikTok or if you're watching this on, um, on anything else, uh, Facebook, anything, go over there and subscribe to that Catch a Better Life channel. Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. There's about 20,000 plus people over there. And they're the greatest people you'll ever meet. You'll, you'll make friends over there. You'll have people that will, 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 will be joyful when you're happy. They'll pray for you when you have a problem. And they'll just love you. <laughs> they'll just love you. There's a lot of really loving type people over there. And, and besides that, when you start your day with a scripture from God, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip, absolutely no doubt about it, you're going to create in yourselves a better life. Okay, we're looking at 1 Corinthians 16, 2. On the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper. Storing up as he may prosper. Now, that's Paul talking to the people in Corinth, the Christians over there, and he's not telling them to save some savings for later on for retirement or to buy a new boat or a new rod and reel or something like that. He's telling them to set aside each and every week a little something that they can give to other Christians in other areas, that they can give to other churches. He's talking about tithes and offerings is what he's talking about. Here's what I wrote about that. To become good at anything, you got to put a lot of effort and time into becoming better. I don't care what you're doing. If you want to become good at it, got to put a lot of time and effort into becoming better. Casting proficiency is no different. If you spend more time practicing casting, more time practicing pitching, more time practicing flipping, your effort will definitely be rewarded with more, and get this, larger fish. That's right. That's right. If you learn how to catch better, pitch better, flip better, you're not only going to catch more fish, you're going to catch bigger fish as well. I promise you. I promise you. It's just the way it happens. The benefits far outweigh that practice time. Besides that, you know, I was a good free throw shooter back in high school and college. I mean, I'd knock them down nine out of ten all day long, and and uh, and but and, and and you know, it was just it's like free points when I got fouled. But I shot free throws. I shot jillions of them. I love to shoot free throws. Practicing shooting free throws is a lot of fun to me. Practicing pitching a a, a, a lure in a cup or, or casting and is all of that's fun to me too. It's fun to me to be out fishing and make a particularly good cast. I think, wow, I should catch two. Oh, that cast is so good. But I get a lot of joy out of the practice part of it. Tithing, tithing also is an attribute where the benefits outweigh the effort. You hear what I'm saying? The benefits outweigh the effort or the amount of tithe that you tithe. As I've been told, tithing is not mentioned as a set amount in the New Testament. There are New Testament churches, New Testament Christians that don't believe in tithing. And that's okay. You know, I mean, that's okay. That, that's, a, that's your belief. I'm not going to argue with it. But I'm a believer in tithing, a big believer in tithing. And I believe a tithe to God is 10%. I believe an offering is that amount above 10% that you want to give to help God's work. A tithe is the amount I think that God expects us to get. I think it's the amount that God requires any amount above 10% is an offering. That's what you want to do to help God's work. Whatever you give to God and give to His work, can I tell you, God will bless you. Whatever amount it is, He's not going to penalize you because you only tithe 5% or 8% or 2%. Whatever you give, He's going to bless you. I've heard Christians, in fact, we've argued about this in Sunday school classes. Should you tithe on the gross amount of your income or tithe on the net amount after you pay your taxes? And somebody said, well, it depends on whether you're looking for a gross benefit or a, a, a net benefit. <laughs> and that's really not true, you know, because God, said, God says to give the first 10% to him, the first 10% to him. But God's going to bless you, whatever. And you cannot outgive God. That's the key to the whole deal right there. You can't outgive Almighty God. Unlike casting, we don't tithe to be re rewarded. You hear that? We do not tithe to be rewarded we tithe to honor God. That's why you write that tithe check every week. You do that in order to honor God. But this I do know. 
This I do know. When I honor God, can I tell you, amazing things happen. When I honor God, amazing things happen. Can't outgive God. I know that. And I know that when I honor God and whatever I do, some of that's with my money, amazing things happen. Here's our tip for today on windy days. <laughs> Go to a half ounce spinnerbait. That's right, a spinnerbait with a single number four, number five blade. Uh, a red man spinnerbait is a three eighths ounce spinnerbait, but with the blades and all the hardware on it, it's, it's, an, it's about a half ounce is what it is. A Jimmy Houston half ounce legends bait. We make those in a, yeah, with, with uh, round blades also. Uh, you can cut the little blade off. The round blade, even in a tandem in that Legend, is still a good bait to throw in the wind. But you can cut that inside blade off and have a half ounce in that Jimmy Houston Legends bait, and that's good. A spinner bait cuts through that wind like a knife, like a knife. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>